Um, I do believe that a room is a bit like a painting. Uh, you work on it uh, and you build up the tone and the colour as you do in a piece of uh, art and um, it needs to gel, it needs to all work together as a whole. Well, throughout my whole life I've been very involved in looking after um, and preserving and conserving ancient buildings. I like to do all my work myself, um, have a paintbrush in my hands, I mix all my colours on the spot and uh, just get up on the ladder and get on with it. I call myself a hands-on decorator. It is all about preserving charm and the beauty of the surface in a crumbling old lime paint or it might be some old lime on wood from columbage, it, it might just be the bleaching of wood from the sun, all these things we're tempted to come along and put dark varnish over them and feel as though we've got to transform them, transform them uh, and make them good again but in fact what is wrong with the original surface, it's strong it's beautiful and all we need to do is repair maybe crumbling edges, um, put, just leave it as it is and put it back um, to a stronger sense of what it was in the first place using the correct materials. By repairing we are conserving but if we were to be restoring then we are usually taking away the original and replacing it with a new copy and this is something I always try to avoid. It's an ongoing problem that uh, we are losing all the, uh, the heritage of our children's children. They will never see the beauty we see because systematically it is being taken away. Undoing the very charm of the building which they fell in love with in the first place. People say, what is lime wash? It is a very cheap paint made by oneself or you can have it made for you. The point of lime wash is it breathes and allows the wall, the original old plaster wall to breathe. Uh, plaster was always made of lime. So by adding beautiful earthy pigments to the lime, uh, you achieve a very matte surface which reflects the light in a certain way. This is the original colour that I found bits of um, le left on certain walls, so I um, copied the same colour and kept it. Originally, that room when I bought the house last year was very dark brown, a very unpleasant colour. I think it's because um, they just emptied all the paint pots that they had down in the barn. That room had um, wood chip wallpaper on and was painted in a lurid yellow colour by some locateurs who lived here in the past. Um, I took the paper off, repaired the walls underneath. Unfortunately, there has been a lot of cement render put in this house because it once belonged to a builder, and that is a shame because I know those walls aren't actually breathing. But it doesn't stop me using lime wash because I still achieve the beautiful luminosity of the surface. There might be the odd bulging piece of plaster that needs to be hacked off and repaired with a new piece of plaster in its place. But we, many people are tempted to take all the plaster off because one little bit's a bit faulty. And then you lose that beautiful undulating surface. And this is such a shame to me. Um, that's a little bit based on the repair angle again. Uh, as an example, here in my new house, well, I'm fairly new, I only bought it last year. Um, I had to do a repair outside um, where the lime plaster had all buckled off at the top under the eaves and so I, I made a lovely lime mortar and we just stuffed it in uh, as in pointed it but heavily uh, over the areas that were broken and replaced any stones that were bulging out and put them back in place and then took a lime wash which I mixed to match the stone of the original building um, and lime washed all that wall over and it really just looks as though it was always there like that and this is what I aim to achieve. Mm -hmm. 
also on beams, um, just beeswaxing poly cleaned, scrubbed beams uh, to get your oak really clean and uh, put beeswax on it. It uh, enhances the wood. But one thing I object to is when people come along with b dark brown varnishes and shiny surfaces. Um, these just don't gel within the old house. One needs to see um, softness of tone and finish. <laughs> Typical first job most people do is rip out old windows and put in off the peg new windows. Quite often they'll uh, infill a window recess to make a modern off the peg window fit. This is particularly people working on a budget. Uh, there are some beautifully made new windows and there is a place sometimes to, that they need to be replaced because they're really rotten. But on the whole, uh, windows are the eyes to the, to the building. They actually give it its character and I think one should think quite carefully before deciding just to have those all out and replaced. Um, especially when people replace them with sheet glass which is like cataracts in the eyes of the building. I have many uh, wonky floors. I didn't believe it was a good idea to straighten those floors. Um, I believe in retaining the original fabric of any building and looking after the very thing that you loved about it in the first place. Uh, in my house now, my floors are quite rustic and woody and mix max of bits of old board and a little bit of cement that the paysan before had put in and uh, I just live with it, put the right polishes on or paints and um, make it work together in a beautiful way.